everybody, welcome back. We're talking today about 2D reactions at the supports. This one looks a little different. I like to call this one a tipping problem. This is one of my favorites because it makes you have to think. Okay, this is a tipping problem. But, or as they say in España, a tipping problemo. Okay, so what you have here is a forklift. All right, and they tell me that the lift plus the man weighs 9,500 pounds, okay? So 9,500 pounds, where's my red pen? Here it is, okay? That is gonna be applied here at this kind of bullseye. That bullseye is just like the center of gravity, okay? So 9,500 pounds. And then over here they tell us that the box weighs 5,000 pounds. What does the box weigh? Okay, so let's put that right there, okay? And there's the box weight, 5,000 pounds, okay? Now, what else is going on? How about the reactions at the wheels, okay? Now, where the wheel touches the ground, you might as well think of that as a roller, okay? So what you have, we'll call this, we'll call this BY, and we'll call this AY. This is this is wheel A, this is wheel B, okay? We'll call this guy A, Y, okay? So how can we do this? Okay, the problem says, find the weight on the front and rear tires. So they wanna know what is A, Y, what is B, Y, okay? That's question number one. A, Y equals question mark B, Y equals question mark, okay? What else do you wanna know? Number two says, what's the max weight? Okay, we'll do that next. So let's start here at this guy. The easiest thing to do, since we only have two unknowns, AY and BY, is take a moment, okay? So let's take a moment, I don't know, let's take a moment at the front wheel here, okay? Let's take a moment right there at the front tires, okay? So here's what we get. The sum of the moments at point B has to equal zero because the thing is not moving, it's just sitting there. By the way, it's a really great drawing, isn't it? Except for my, my little guy's not that great, but anyway, okay? So I take the moment here at B, okay? So I have the 9500, which rotates me, that's positive, right? 9500 times how far away? Four. And then I got AY, which rotates me, ooh, that's negative, minus AY times um, 4 plus 2 is 6 away from B, right? Okay, and then I have the 5,000, which rotates me, ooh, that's negative also, minus 5,000 times 3 away, okay? So from that, what do we get? All right, let's see what we get. So 9,500 times four equals minus, what, 15,000? Equals 23,000, and that divided by six, 3833. So AY equals 3833, okay? 3,833 pounds, okay? And how do you find BY then? Well, just a simple sum of the forces in the y direction would get that. And you have what? You have AY, which is 3833, plus BY, so plus BY, minus 9,500 plus 5,000, which is 14,500. Okay? So let's see. 14,500 minus 3833 leaves 10,667, okay? So BY equals 10,667 pounds. All right, and there you go. So that's what's going on here, right? AY, 3,833 pounds, and BY, 10,667 pounds. And of course, if they ask you for each one of the tires, because there's one on the left, one on the right, right? Uh, half of it would be carried by the left, so I'd have to divide these numbers by two if they wanted each tire. So this is, 
This is the force on the front axle. This is the force on the back axle, okay? So there's part A, or part one, right? There's part one. So part two says, what is the max weight that can be lifted? Now this is the part where you gotta be thinking, okay? So let's get rid of the 5,000. See you later, alligator. W max, okay? Now, think about the very maximum, okay? So if I'm if I'm the forklift, at the point where I'm like, I can't hold any more, right? What's happening to this foot over here, right? If you had a scale under that back tire, okay, at the instant before it tips, we're talking on the verge of tipping, we're talking about if that butterfly lands on top of that box, what is going to happen to the whole system, right? It's right there, and that butterfly lands on it uh, too much. Over we go, right? We're, we're perfectly balanced. Then this scale would read zero, which would make AX equal to, I mean, I'm sorry, AY equal to zero, wouldn't it? You got to think about that. It, the problem won't tell you that AY is zero, right? You got to think about this thing is going to rotate about this point. It's going to tip over that way, so that guy's going to go to zero. That's why it's a, I call it a tipping problem. I like the tipping problems, right? Okay, so let's do this again. Let's take the sum of the moments about point B one more time, okay? And see if we can come up with the very maximum weight of the crate, right? What does the box weigh? Right there. Okay, here we go. So, so you've got 9,500 times four rotating you positive, okay? And then you got AY, but AY is zero, so we're gonna ignore that. And then over here I have W max, which rotates me negative, so minus W max times how far away? Three feet. Okay, so let's calculate that 9,500 times four, and then divided by, divided by three equals 12, so W max is equal to 12,667 pounds, okay? That's the biggest crate that that forklift will pick up. That's a lot of weight for a forklift. That's a big forklift, okay? So, look, the, uh, the crate was 5,000 here. It can be 12,000 absolute maximum before the thing tips over, okay? So that's how you do a tipping problem. So, Again, it will not tell you that this is going to go to zero. You got to kind of understand that. That's why I like to put these on a test because I want to know can you think, right? Can you think? I don't know. Sometimes we can and sometimes we can't. All right, gang. See you next video.